Yeah, so we need to get ourselves in this magazine. Right, one mic stop in. dreaming and let's get back on. <laughs> Gavin, what are you doing? You know I do the opening bit of the show. Mate, we're in it. Ferguson Furrows. Shut the front door. <laughs> You're kidding. No, here it is. But I'm fine, Fergie, mate. Well, there you go. That just goes to prove that dreams do come true. Anyway, welcome back to Jimmy DeVille's Garage and episode 13 of the Barn Fine Fergie Project. In this episode, Gav and I are tackling the cooling system, the front and the end of the tractor, and maybe even the sump. Gavin, I reckon it's time for me and you to get on with it. Go on, mate. Here we go. If you are enjoying this series, please don't forget to hit that almighty subscribe button in the sky. Right, so first job of today is to get this sump back on. Have you had a lovely morning so far, Gav? Oh, absolutely amazing. Yeah, fitting that uh, sump was an utter pain in the neck. Yeah, that sump was a complete herbert. It was a complete herbert, and I've got to be honest, I have no idea what a complete herbert is. Anyway, moving on to pastures new. Like what I did there? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> um, we're going to be refitting the front axle of the tractor. Um, we did take it off many moons ago, and uh, I've got to be honest, a little bit of work has happened to it since then because once it came off, we did discover that the front cradle was, oh, Ugh. yuck, completely and utterly spanked. That's actually half of it because it kind of just fell apart on us and uh, it disintegrated. <laughs> it was utterly done. So I did my thing of jumping on the internet and actually found a brand new old stock one in Northern Ireland, which I had sent to us, and you got busy fitting it onto the axle, didn't you? Yeah, I put a new bush in it where the axle pivots on the cradle, uh, went to back together nicely, gave it a bit of a clean, um, good to go. So the axle is all back together, and the next thing we need to do is get it fit to the tractor. Here we go. <laughs> We're giving these ball joints a quick degreasing and then it's on with the copper grease. Alright, go easy Gav, it's not going out of fashion. I don't drink and I don't smoke and I don't wear no greasy coat. So we're just going to remove these front wheels because we need to lower the axle down on a trolley jack so we can attach the cradle to the front of the engine. It's just a little bit too high at the minute. Oh, yes. 
So that's the new cradle and axle back on. So the next job to do now is to fit these steering control rod arms. Wish I was in London, some of the seaport town. Set my foot in a steamboat, sail the ocean round. Sailing round the ocean, sailing round the sea I think you're handsome Bobby, wherever he may be That is the front axle and steering assembly back on. The last thing we need to do is jack it up on the cradle, which is going to take this engine back off the blocks, Gav. Yep. Right, it's time to put the front of this tractor back on its wheels. Come on then, Gav, jack her away. Well, you know what? Just a tiny touch more. And again. Uh, one more of them. Yeah, we're on. Getting that front axle back on, it is a lovely thing, isn't it? Cool, yeah. Proper looks like a tractor now. It does it? look like a tractor, Gav. But as everyone knows, every good tractor needs a radiator to keep it cool, and this is our radiator. So I guess now we've got that cradle back on, it is time for us to fit on the radiator. Uh, yeah, well, maybe. But unfortunately, after 31 years sat in a hedge, all the steel work from around the sides of this radiator have corroded away. What you're saying is, it's a little bit like me, now I'm 43 years old, I'm all a little bit rusty. Yeah, a bit like that, mate. All right, so, um, <clears throat> that is a little bit of a problem, isn't it? It is a bit of a problem, yeah. But where there is a problem, there is a solution, and uh, I reckon I've got just the job. Gav, this beautiful old radiator. Now, I got this with a bit of serendipity because my neighbours actually had this in the shed. It is from a Ferguson, I'm not sure what model. Now the problem with this radiator is it's got a bullet hole almost going right through it. So as a radiator, it is completely shot. But one thing it does have is this. Perfectly solid steelwork, Gavin. I see where you're going with this, Jimmy. Oh yeah. It sounds like one of our infamous cut and shuts. Gav, it's time to cut and shut a radiator and put the steelwork from here onto here, that's giving us a perfectly serviceable maybe radiator. Right, okay. Should we fire up the grinder? Yeah. Here we go.
separated it here, here, we think we separated it all the way around. So this metal frame we want now, tick it off. Yep. Ready? You've got the core or you've got the frame. You've got the core, Hello. I've got the frame in this Oh, lovely. So there we have it. New frame for new radiator. Shot through radiator in the pin gap. <laughs> So now that this is off, we're going to give this a good clean up and then we're going to start removing metal off the old radiator until we can find out where this sits perfectly and then with a little bit of welding, hopefully, it makes the two up. But uh, that's looking good, isn't it? Yeah. Very optimistic. Very optimistic indeed. Right, time for us to clean this up, then we're going to see if we can get it to fit onto there. The gal was in London, the summer was in Port Town. Kept my foot in a sea and boy, say we always been down. Sailing around the ocean, sailing around the sea. There we have it, Gav. The frame from the napkin a radiator extracted all in one piece, and it's looking well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really pleased with that, mate. We've also left a little bit of extra metal here. Do tell why. 
Right, so we've had to cut back the rot on the old one, so we just wanted to leave ourselves a little bit so we can keep going back and find some good metal on the old radiator. Right, well I suggest cutting back the rot on the old radi radiator is what we do now. Shall we do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Touch more, touch more, I reckon. Aren't oh, you? Yeah. Be brave. You've got air between you. And Come in. That snail's lost its place to live. Yeah. Oh, look, that's where those go. That's all right, isn't it? It's lovely, Gav. It's not far out, is it? Right. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is uh, see how that frame fits. So we have got a small problem because it appears the tap hole on this radiator compared to the tap hole on the one previous are in slightly different places. So uh, it's looking like our tap hole now needs to be here. So a hole is getting drilled and then fingers crossed this should line up. Drilling hole time. Here we go. Okay, happy? Very happy. Very happy because we've got the original radiator all cleaned up and the new old frame all sorted out. So fingers crossed now, Gav, the two will go together. There is only one way to find out, isn't there? Stick it in. Stick it in. Come on then, I'll hold this if you stick it in. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Stick it in from the top. Go on. Go on. Oh, it pop goes the weasel. Just go back a bit there, there, there. That is looking good. That is really nice. Mate. Look at that. That is really nice. So that is the two halves cut, but not shut together. So the next thing we need to do is do some little welds just at the top and at the bottom, and then two will become one, and we'll have ourselves to have a new radiator. Happy with that. Welding time. <laughs> oh, that was pretty low amped. She's gone.
Are you happy with that? You look happy with that. I am. I'm really pleased with it. It's lovely. We still don't know 100% whether it's going to work as a radiator, but uh, with fingers crossed. Anyway, we have now made a new radiator out of two completely knackered ones. So, uh, a bit of a result. Yeah, yeah. There is only one last thing to do with a new radiator, Gav. Stick it on the tractor, I reckon, mate. Let's stick it on the tractor. Come on then, Gav, bring it in. Here she is. Is it gonna oh, fit? Right, so swing it on nice and gentle. You got it? I got it. Oh, I need to go towards you a touch. Yes, oh, I'm, I'm in. Again. I'm in. Oh, she's going Ooh. on. Oh, yes. You know what? That. that is a cracking job. That is properly satisfying, taking two old knackered radiators and making one solid and hopefully, fingers crossed, watertight good one. Yeah. Happy? Beautiful. Well, you know what, Gav? I reckon that deserves a little celebration. <laughs> I think I know what this means. Oh, yeah. Mama Deville has been busy in the kitchen and knocked us up one of her speciality chocolate cakes. Get in. Look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Double decker, mate. Covered in chocolate. You ready for a little bit? Yeah. Here you go. Lovely Treat yourself oh. on that. Oh, yeah. Check that out. It is an absolute beast. Anyway, listen. Absolutely epic work today. The front end back on. This radiator created and on and looking really good. But sadly, that is the end of the episode. If you've got any questions or queries for Gavin I, please leave them in the comments section down below. Also, if you're enjoying watching him and I mess about in this garage, please remember to hit subscribe and also that little bell icon so you'll know the next time we release an episode. Until then, happy cake, cake eating from Gavin I, and we'll catch you later. I got cramp, mate. Oh, you all right? Yeah. That is a sight I never want to see again. <laughs>you could be a piece of fruit, which piece of fruit would you be? I can this job all by myself. First thing that came into my head was a banana, but I've, <laughs> I have no idea why. They're just funny, aren't they, bananas? <laughs> if, a, if a piece of fruit could have a sense of humour, you'd think a banana would have the best sense of humour, wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like it a lot. I can handle this job all by myself. He calls me his little piece.